In terms of the uh, comparisons and differences between palbociclib and ribociclib, uh, the uh, results are, are very comparable. So the uh, results, the top line results uh, in first line, so compared to aromatase inhibitor, are very, very similar. If you look at Paloma 2 and Mona Lisa 2, in terms of the overall hazard rate of around 0.5, doubling of time to disease uh, progression. There was an interesting update from the Mona Lisa 2, looking at survival, uh, that seemed to show maybe a very early trend. It was barely achieving, uh, close to achieving statistical significance. And that's the first survival signal we've seen. We'll have to follow these trials out longer and see if that does uh, emerge. Uh, Health-related quality of life is preserved in both groups. That's always one concern whether the toxicities might uh, uh, outweigh in some uh, way uh, and show up in quality of life, but that didn't turn out to be the case. So we're getting this doubling in disease-free survival without a compromise in that. The safety profile is very similar, uh, neutropenia uh, uh, being the most common, but rarely does that result in febrile neutropenia. Uh, the febrile neutropenia rates are about the same. The number of people that have to discontinue due to side effects is about the same. There's maybe a touch more uh, in terms of uh, transaminase elevations with ribocyclib, so the monitoring is a little bit different. The prolongation of the QTC interval was uh, seen more prominently, but many drugs in this class, and of course many drugs in general, uh, cause that prolongation. It does mean uh, EKG monitoring, but in terms of the number of patients that may suffer significant side effects from this, uh, again, uh, very comparable. So one of the things that uh, we tend not to think about as much but is critically important to our patients and is a logistical issue is how the, the drug is actually delivered to the patient and what the patient sees. And there's two aspects that are different between palbociclib and ribocyclib. One is that the dosing of ribocyclib is in multiples of the pills. So when you dose reduce uh, from 600 to 400, it's just a matter of taking one less pill or from 400 to 200. And that's the dosing reduction scheme scheme that was used in the trials. And then uh, having it co-packaged with letrozole also uh, facilitates the drug delivery, the, uh, the hassles that a patient has to go through to get any drug. And so that's a, a, an interesting feature as well.